Welcome to the Light Bars and Lockers podcast, the <laughs> Jeep podcast where we talk about badass builds, answer your questions, and discuss ways to beef up your ride. Thanks for joining us. I'm uh, Paul from Jeep Beef. And I was just thinking, you know, I didn't mess that one up. That was the first time I've messed it up in forever. Anyway, we've got uh, Ryan from Combat Off-Road, as always. And joining us tonight, we've got Sam from Hi. jeepworld.com claudia. and kate slash claudia from <laughs> jeepworld.com what is going on everyone what's up what is Hi. up how are Hi. how's everyone today how's how is it cold where you are it's actually yes. rather nice today, today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> apparently it's like really one day out of the whole yeah. week <laughs> i had to ask you because we we talked earlier and for everyone um, <clears throat> are you both in new york yeah Upstate New York? Yeah, perfect. So there you go. You don't get much northerly than that until you start getting into the old, the great white north here. <laughs> um, so as mentioned, we're talking about uh, uh, jeepworld.com. And with I want to, so I want to dive in a little bit. So we've got Kate, who's the e-commerce manager, and Sam, who is social media manager, correct? Yep. Perfect. Well, let's start with Kate because you're the boss. I assume. I assume that's how this Ooh, works in the hierarchy. Yeah. So we'll start with you. Tell us about yourself and uh, about how you uh, came to work with, with uh, Jeep World. Um, so I actually started working for a Chrysler dealership um, doing their social media and their marketing and then switched over to e-commerce doing Jeep World's aftermarket parts marketing and then worked up to kind of managing the bulk of the business amazing you know it's funny because awesome. i swear we we could just have a whole show i literally started the exact same place i started working at chrysler dealership i started doing like e-commerce and building websites and things like that and that's how i yeah. got into this business. so funny small world seo the whole thing um uh-huh. sam how about yourself uh social media manager yeah tell us how you how how you got to jeep world uh, well, I was working at a Porsche dealership uh, prior to this. That's fancy. And, I was just gonna oh, say. yeah. <laughs> fancy. It was like, super fancy. Super fancy. She's really, really taken a step down in the automotive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have more creative um, abilities with Jeep World. So. The Germans didn't like it or what? Um, it was a very small team. And it was just, there was a lot going on and I was the office manager. So everything came through me, setting up events, title, paperwork, breaking down deals, every little thing. So um, it was time for me to like step away from that and take a breather. It was just so stressful at times. So now Kate gets to do that job. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's collaborative yeah yeah right. <laughs> there you go that's funny so how uh, your background in social media and and again I, this is my know, first social st- media job i okay. used to have a car club that i was the president of and i would do all the social media aspects mm-hmm. for the car club that i was a part of so okay amazing yeah. what's your what's your favorite network is it I like Facebook and TikTok. <laughs> oh, cool. TikTok's <clears throat> a, like a tough nut to crack, right? Like I find it TikTok, is. you have to have a lot of creativity and, and, and it takes a lot of time. It really does. I mean, I thought it was just dancing. There's oh, dancing. Yeah. yeah. See how old this Quarter guy packing. is? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't There's know. There's like scenarios where like you pretend you're a customer and then you're yourself and it's like a back and forth storyline. Well, now I'm going to check it out. What What's the TikTok handle? We'll put it up. We've got to check it out. It's uh, jeepworld.com, like the period. Oh, okay. There you go. Easy. Yeah. yeah okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Somebody already had Jeep World, so I don't I know, know who that was. Somebody <laughs> stole ours, too. I'm like, <laughs> seriously? Instagram. Not these yeah. Like, I, mm. yeah, so for the longest yeah. time, I got to tell you, for the longest time, I thought jeepworld.com was Jeep World from Instagram. Like, I thought it was <clears> the same people and and the other day did i think we posted a meme or something like that and then was it 
was it you oh, all it was like yeah. I, it's stolen from g world or whatever yeah yeah because yeah. um so uh one of our social media people she she sent it to me and she's like I want to let you know I stole this fair and square from somebody else. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm like, they're just kidding. Relax. It's, I mean, I'm I don't like, care. I'm sure I, it's, yeah, no, I, I'm like, just. Was it, the, it was the Will Smith funny. one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the yeah. one where yeah, Chris yeah, Rock yeah. was getting slapped by saying like, yeah. my Ford Bronco is bet. And then Will yes. Smith is slapping. Which is great. Because <laughs> anything, anything that is Ford Bronco, I loved, you know. I actually <laughs> got that idea from a local detailer that I'm friends with on Facebook and he did it for his um, detailing company where it said uh, it was like I can probably go somewhere cheap and then it's like slaps and it's like detailer. Nice. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. So wait, did you actually create the meme? I did. <laughs> Oh. oh man, I didn't know that. I oh, did. Man, that's, okay, well then, in that case, even though she's you guys really off, ripped, we you really off. should. We <laughs> really <laughs> ripped it off. No, it's all right. Yeah, I didn't that's expect funny. it to get. Her feelings that are not many reviews. Her hurt, but like a little bit. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get you back. You can. We'll we'll send you one of ours. You can you know rip it off. We'll do the same. Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So, um, out of curiosity, and again, I. I think I mentioned that we may geek out just a little bit. I well, actually, before we get into the real geeking out and me asking all the questions, I really want to know. Um, Kate, why don't you tell us a little bit of background about Jeep World, like where it's come from? People may not, I'm sure people have heard of it, but just people that may not be as familiar. Um, so people haven't heard of it now, never. I know no. about it. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know about it. I mean, i like I said, I thought you were the same as the Jeep World on Instagram, but. Now I know, and it's clearly different. Like when you actually take a minute and look, like the difference is like local.com. Yeah. Awesome. So um, the business started in 1996, which puts us at like what 26 years old now. Um, that's a that's a pretty long time uh, to yeah. to really. That's amazing. That is really long. It I is. mean, in, in the in e-commerce space, right? Like that's right. like that's like you were around at the when they invented the wheel. Right. Pretty much. Right. Yeah, I think we're <laughs> older like, than you know, Jeep, Jeep World. That's the kind of the timeline that we're on. Um, <laughs> Dinosaurs, so, Jeep Wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Like that's the that's the chronology there. <laughs> I <laughs> saw that in one of those. Uh... Come back and be like, okay, so here's a wheel. Then this is like a Jeep wheel, and it says what on it? Oh, Jeep World. There we go. There you go. <laughs> there it is. So, <laughs> there's some history. Um, but yeah, so it was started up in uh, Glens Falls, New York, which is like a very teeny tiny little Adirondack town. Um, super cute. If anybody is in the area, highly recommend it. Um, they have a wonderful little like downtown strip. It's very cute. Um, and then it moved to Saratoga. It was purchased by the company that owns it now, which is like a family business kind of umbrella group they have a couple other businesses in the area um and then uh i've been with the company for just shy of three years and right now we have a primarily women working in our office which is a lovely hmm. thing that we get to say um and I, we've kept it sort of small we have like a very small in-house team and we run our warehouse out of saratoga oh cool yeah amazing I, uh, you guys do a mix, I guess, of dropship and warehousing yeah. some products. And yeah, <clears throat> we warehouse um, probably at this point, I would say about half something from at least half of our vendors, and then we dropship the rest. Oh wow, cool! That's amazing. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't warehouse, <clears throat> so there's advantages there for sure, right? So yeah, because people are, like say in stock, but then they don't really know, and then yeah, yeah. They, and then you're relying on a well like that external party to ship right like so <clears throat> right so then yeah it causes problems you gotta get the orders there too, right? yeah you gotta like you gotta send the order through email see you can text a picture to your friend that you there's orders and then you can wait four days and then email the people that ship out this stuff <laughs> <Exactly. You laughs> <do that. clears throat> does it yeah <laughs> i just pulled that out of the sky i just want to create right. some kind of scenarios for the that's for the right people. yeah jackson says uh, are you over hyping glenn falls I might or be. You, you are. I, you I are. Might be. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't um, know. Sounds all right. Yeah. A little. Um, he, sold me. He's just a little bit biased because he's from a, a smaller town than Glens Falls. Oh, I see. Oh, really? 
I mean, there's a lot of smaller towns than Glens Falls, but like Glens Falls Green has a pretty traffic tiny. circle that's awful. And it's like, if you misjudge your turn on that traffic circle, you end up in the river. Like, so it's a oh. high risk, high reward situation. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you need an amphibious car. Well, sure. It's yeah. like by the paper mill, um, the the business that I've had the most interaction with in Glens Falls is a dog daycare, to be fair. So like, that was a good experience. So, that might be <laughs> so you, you <laughs> mentioned like my entire opinion based on one coffee shop and a dog daycare. So I mean, well, yeah. you know, you can't go wrong valid. with that, right? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. I mean, so it's I, so I, I'm curious what, so you, you mentioned Kate that you were um, about three years. Yes. What did you do prior to we, we uh, in, marketing, uh, marketing for the automotive dealership? Oh, oh, straight yeah. from there to, yeah. Oh, okay. Right on. Got it. Basically walked across the parking lot and started a Jeep. I, world, so. Oh, I see. Huh. Is it, <laughs> is it near? Are they like close yep. to each other? Yeah. There's like a plaza that we're in and we have a warehouse and then there's the dealership is like, up there right in front oh, that's of it. hilarious yeah. all right so you like like in all seriousness literally walk across the park oh, yeah. <laughs> i love it that's amazing um so so you mentioned that it's it's primarily female run right which is yes. pretty awesome which I, it totally makes sense i mean e-commerce i you know we run both a marketing agency and uh the e-commerce business and typically speaking um there's just a lot more women in social media i see i it just and it, you know, it's just the way it is. That's, that's a safe bet. Yeah. Right. Like, and yeah. they typically are much better, like organized and prepared and can spell, which is really helpful. I find. Yeah. So yeah. that's great. Um, but outside of that, what uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't find people to spell. I can't like, they'll have two university degrees. They'll come in and they'll be full of great ideas. And then they start throwing up like ads or social media and they put the wrong <laughs> there. In the oh, app. I love that one. Oh. Like that is a that real actual is... example where no. uh, the client you and calls your... me and is like, "Hey, our ads are running all weekend, and it says over there spelled T H E I R." Like, yeah, you know, it's great. It's fantastic. no thanks. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Being I know how to spell spell but... pretty darn well, but hey, I still I have Grammarly on my computer. Though. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> of course, to say I'm no good that at that extra but... layer. That extra yeah. layer. But I'll check, right? Like, that's all you okay. gotta do, right? Just check. So, anyway, I digress. Uh, <laughs> but I'm curious. Tell us some of the because I know that you're involved in the community and and you have events and what have you. Um, Sam, maybe uh, tell us about uh, a couple of the events that you all uh, attend and 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 support so um this past october we held our first at least like in our um ownership uh trunk or treat and oh, yeah. we invited all the local jeep clubs and just anybody who's a jeep enthusiast to come out and bring their kids and just have fun and do a trunk or treat. Everybody came, dressed up their uh, Jeeps, and their kids were running around like crazy, looking for candy. We sold merchandise <clears throat> while we were out there hanging out with everybody. It was an actually really good night. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Then we also, um, in the past, have done the, it's like a Adirondack, jeep festival that is similar to the one in uh new jersey where the uh jeep community comes together and hangs out goes off-roading and you know it's like one big jeep meet right on do you guys got trails near you like, like there's a couple clubs yeah. yeah there's a couple um we at one point we're gonna prior to at least the two of us there was a great big ambition to put a trail in behind the building. Oh, cool. Um, oh, that's all. Awesome. We're next to a fire department and they got a little cranky about that. They didn't really oh. appreciate it as much as we might have. Right. Oh, um, yeah. So that kind of, we had to put a pause on that for a bit. But... Fire trucks need to hit an obstacle before they can get out. You could make that 35 degree incline. No problem. Absolutely. Whatever. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, no, that's amazing. So in terms of the store itself, um, 
do you find like tell like did COVID? How did that affect you? Because I know brick and mortar, obviously people are closing and less people are going out. E-commerce, I found personally that it sort of you know ballooned and did really well. How how did you all find COVID? The you know COVID. <laughs> If we, so New York got real specific about COVID for a while. Um, and we kind of fell into this gray area of whether or not we were essential because like automotive right. parts is kind of essential, but then also the aftermarket stuff purely subjectively <laughs> is not. Um, sure. So we weren't allowed to have as many people in the office as we probably would have liked. Um, so we kind of took turns going in and packing and shipping orders at, like every other day, you'd have a, a day that you'd go in for a couple hours and then you'd go home just to keep everything moving. The rest of it was from home. <clears throat> um, and we took that time to really hone in on the user interface, the experience that our customers were having on our website. We revamped everything, made sure it was more shoppable. The collections made sense. Um, and that everything was like updated and linked properly. So we feel like we came out of that pretty well. Um, we had no significant damage, I guess, to the business itself. Um, That's good news for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, <clears throat> I mean, most of our, our vendors that we work with went through the pandemic pretty well, and that's something that we're excited about. You know, we didn't want to, we don't want ever want to see anybody kind of duck out of the business. Um, so that was nice too. And then the only real issue that we've seen kind of ongoing is shipping. That's been a nightmare. That, that was going to be my last right. question in terms of supply chain. Yeah. That seems to be where everyone's bottleneck is, right? It's just yep. getting product, getting it out the door. Mm -hmm. Everybody's stuck on boats. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's right. So, <laughs> with that said, um, tell us what what's what do you find is like the top selling merchandise on the on the plan, uh, on the platform do you do you see in I the know, world paul in the world in the jeep in the jeep world, world yeah in the jeep world. <laughs> see yes yeah. um, currently it's like definitely the locking gas caps yes. as you know <laughs> oh right now right <laughs> the fear of the gas <laughs> being stolen like, two or three weeks we cannot keep them on the shelves <laughs> is that <laughs> right that's amazing that's pretty it's that is so cool it All was right. like we were sitting, we had like this very low key, like what should we talk about kind of on Instagram thing. And one of um, Tanya, our customer service manager was like, oh, locking gas caps, that would be funny. And right. Sam flipped yeah. a post and we have not had one stay. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> good. Is that right? They just keep going. They just That's We awesome. had like, I think it was five brought over from the from dealership. House. Yeah, for us oh. to send out to customers, and so I was like, you know what, this is the perfect time to like stage them, take a photo, throw it up on social media, and see what everybody's reaction is. Wow, and yeah. it went pretty and darn good. Gone. Is there... <laughs> <They're> gone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's wow. so cool. Yeah, well, that's I mean, logically, right? It makes a ton of sense. Mm. Like, it's eight billion dollars for a tank of gas right now, right. so yeah. How much yeah. is that in Bitcoin? That's a good question. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> it depends what well in Bitcoin. Depends I on guess. the day or the minute. Yeah, it would be it'd be yeah just a, a fraction of a Bitcoin, right? I'm more like... of a Doge coin. Oh like... really? Yeah. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> we did yeah, have yeah. a Porsche dealership, so. Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the she, the, that Shiba Inu coin. If you bought that a year ago, you'd have been I... laughing. I have Shiba also, but I only just bought it when it was like the big hype. So oh, I'm waiting yeah. for it to like gain popularity. Or you're like legit into because I, I don't yeah. know much about this stuff at all. I just know a little upwards. bit. That's amazing. I just kind of uh, go I with know all these facts, and you're over here like it's just a little. It's just it's not that much. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it'll go up. It went up the last couple of days, if you noticed. Yeah. Oh my god, I was down. So I only have like I want to say a hundred and twenty dollars into doge and oh, okay at one point i was like you know one 190 and now i'm at like 230 240 again and i'm like all right cool <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a win right that's the yeah, well, way i gamble so you, you can that's do that right you keep market. rolling you, yeah. could, you could do lo roll for the long term in that or you could cash exactly. it out exactly but i mean i don't know i mine are a little more uh I, I I went a little. I dove pretty deep into the crypto because of my buddy, but um, yeah. I have an old coworker who used part of his Dogecoin um, 
investment to put it as a down payment on his Ford Mustang. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool, right? Yeah, and then he got a whole banner to go right across his windshield that says Dogecoin. Oh, he's intense. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Is the is the Kate, Mustang you gotta get gold? into it. You can do it from your mm -hmm. phone. It's ah. it's a 2020 or 2021 uh GT, I believe. No, sorry, I meant like is it like I'm thinking it's like gold, you know, like oh. painted like yeah. yeah, no. <laughs> Gold Dogecoin on it. Oh yeah, you know? <laughs> it's it's holographic, right? No, it's yeah. all it's just a white banner, super yeah, basic. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's, That's pretty funny. funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so over the last little while, and again, this is just me sort of geeking out a little bit, curious. Um, where have you seen? So we, I mean, again, on e-commerce, there's like SEO and there's social and digital ads and all that fun stuff. Where do you see like the most growth opportunity? Because I mean, SEO is kind of like the days of old. Digital ads are just constant, and social is kind of the new thing. Is that how do you see that? I definitely, um, I would say definitely social, just from a marketing standpoint, particularly in e-commerce, because we're you're seeing a lot of trends where your platforms are allowing you to have your users check out on their platform rather than having to go over to the site and check out. Um, so I think that's definitely a, a, an area of opportunity for growth for anyone that has an e-commerce site or an e-commerce based site. Um, but not, you have to be strategic about it. You can't just dump all you have into every platform that's out there. You have to know where your customers are right. and meet them where they are. Otherwise you're kind of wasting time and money. Um, but definitely, I think there's more mileage on social media than unfortunately SEO, I think at this point. Um, I mean, our a lot of our traffic we see comes through from social referrals yep. rather than right? direct search or you know, somebody goes to Google and tries to find us there. Is that right? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you find that like the checkout on platform is is um, like it's early days, right? But do you oh, yeah. see people using it? Do you see people actually checking out? We are not set up that way. The parameters that Facebook specifically has set out for Instagram and Facebook do are not <laughs> nice to retailers. They're not, um, I mean, they're great for a very small retailer that's kind of very much in control of what their, their inventory is. So like if it's a, if it's a, a maker that has everything that's kind of in house and is really in control of that, mm -hmm. they're, they're great for that. They're great for very small niche businesses right now. It's possible that that'll change. Um, I don't know that we'll transition over to that. I think we're going to keep it. It's, it's, I think it's more secure for our customers for us to manage that portion of the checkout rather than kind of handing that over to Mark Zuckerberg, for example. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> <but> it, <laughs> that's basically. a weird haircut that guy. <laughs> he looks like an alien yeah he does <laughs> he's a weird dude yeah no question um yeah but like so the the parameters aren't as as nice to vendors and and retailers that are of a mid-size to larger that have like multiple moving parts or multiple warehouses or channels that they have to keep track of per customer um i think it's it's very narrow scope right now. I think it will improve mm -hmm. probably, but so you um, feel like the customer end user experience could, could be damaged based on like, if they ordered like six things and you had to pull them from four different areas and yes, that kind absolutely. of stuff. Right. And then mm -hmm. they would just blame Jeep world. They would mm -hmm. understand the back end, Right. And then, yeah. And then, so right mm -hmm. now I, we actually, I was looking into this the other day because we got another notification that we could upgrade to that status if we wanted to. Um, and so I was looking it over and one of the things that Facebook has as like a layer of protection for the consumer, which is, I mean, that's their market is the individual. It's not necessarily the business. No, not at all. Yeah. But they have an automated cancellation. So if the certain criteria is met and some of it is like a 24 hour contact point. So, you know, we don't require weekends from our, our employees. Nobody's in the office on the weekends. Okay. Um, every now and then one of us will see an issue come up on social and, may jump in but chances are we're not we're not i mean we don't require them to to do anything to work. yeah it's sure. important to us that they have weekends you know mm -hmm. um if facebook has a 24 hour you have to respond to this right otherwise we automatically cancel it then the customer has their order canceled and there's nothing we can do about it 
we can't get that order back. And you can't even get a hold of them or anything. Right. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, that's wild. So, I mean, stuff like that, little nuanced things that really don't work with the, the, the structure of our business right now, because we do have some of those steps in place to kind of keep our, our work-life balance really mm -hmm. measured. Um, it wouldn't work for us. It wouldn't work for our customers. Um, but I'm sure there are businesses that that current structure works for, and we'll see more of that as they kind of navigate that space and figure out what it is that retailers need to migrate over to that. Because, I mean, Facebook's goal is to get everybody and everyone on their platform sure yeah oh yeah for sure i don't know if they'll actually pull it off to be honest i don't know anybody anybody that wow. um it's is, good to be ambitious about it that. i guess yeah i think well you know what though i've been wrong about these things many times before so <laughs> yeah. um but i just don't think anyone trusts exactly like you said I don't yeah think trust I think... zuckerberg for this sort of stuff mm -hmm. yeah i mean i don't even think if people i mean you can look at uh amazon and argue that you know people wouldn't trust um, Bezos either, right? But it's different, right? Like it's it's it's, it's, it's been around for a long time. It, you know what I mean? I, People love the model. It's totally different. I don't know. I think there's there's this undercurrent. I mean, for for me at least, there's an undercurrent of I understand that I may not agree with the business model or like the the impact that it has. But Amazon, like through I'm, Amazon, I'm gonna get my stuff in two days, so that's cool. That's it. Right. It's exactly <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can't argue with their speed. It's pretty impressive. Right. Now, wow. I mean, as a retailer, absolutely hate it. Hate it because we, we <laughs> cannot guarantee a two-day shipping because we do yeah. have a fleet of trucks. Oh, my God, all the time, right? I get yeah. like, yeah, you'll get, you know, I one guy wrote in, whatever, it is what it is, and I get it because they set these expectations that are so – Right. Which is, to his – there's a reason that he's the, by far the biggest e-commerce, mm -hmm. you know, company in the world. But it's like some guy orders – a couple t-shirts and then he's like hey like i ordered tires and they were here within you know 48 hours yeah. like yeah but how much did tires cost like they just built in overnight shipping you know what i mean you i bought, don't know man you some bought of that t-shirts like yeah, but you know some of those, mean? like some of those tires is crazy though man like you price them at a regular retailer and you see them on an amazon and i'm not saying we're just for example some things are yeah. like that yeah it's free shipping this that, and the other is super fast but then even yeah. the price is cheaper sometimes you're like what like, how does this work out? Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, but like, the quantity, people have the lost leaders. It's all quant. It's right. Yeah. Exactly right. I mean, yeah. you can, I mean, we have one client who um, they they started selling and they just have small products. So, um, you know, anywhere from $19.99 to $49.99. Um, small uh, plastic, it's for fishing in particular. And, um, you know, they jumped on Amazon and we worked with uh, like fulfillment through the website. And uh, I mean, the, the amount of dollars that they do in a day is insane. It's yeah. like in the five to six figures a day that they're yeah. selling on, for their product wow. on that. Yeah, it's just <laughs> insane. But it, it doesn't work for everyone, right? Like that yeah. works great for the little tiny, like they, they throw it in an envelope and out it goes, it costs like $4.99 shipping. It's all built into the price free next day. You know what I mean? They do, they do fulfillment, all that crazy stuff. But it doesn't work for everybody, right? Like if you've got bumper sitting somewhere right it's just not gonna work like it's gonna cost right. a fortune to keep them there <clears throat> they weigh a lot anyway kyle has an amazing question first of all rusty's here rusty what's going on buddy what's up, rusty? Uh, he said a couple things he what do you say <clears throat> he's been stripping to save for tires oh right. see tiktok dancing there's a vision i don't know <laughs> yeah. Kyle wants to know uh kyle has a great question uh, how do oh, you decide what products to carry I oh kyle wants question. to know why you aren't carrying the handle matters handles yet yes kyle from handle matters Can he's, got he's a, great he's a friend he's a friend yeah. of ours <laughs> how do we decide um so oh, here we go kyle pay attention get the pencil out <laughs> that's a great question um if you have a pen handy you can send us an email and we'll start <laughs> the discussion send it to um, claudia at Yes, <laughs> don't send it to you. He's not gonna get it. <laughs> I'm kidding, Kyle. Um, in all seriousness, uh, some of the products are kind of like big names in the business: WeatherTech, uh, Rugged Ridge, like the big, huge truck hero, those kinds of things. Um, we work with a couple of fulfillment warehouses that carry other lines, and every now and then they'll send us an email like, "Do you want to add this to your line card?" Um, usually, it's a yes. Sometimes it's a no. It is. It really depends on what trends we're seeing our our customers purchasing. What we, you know, if the logistics make sense. Um, a lot of our stuff is we're we're kind of trending towards smaller 
manufacturers rather than a lot of, um, yeah, Kyle, send us an email. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to show you, I was going to try and show you the handles. I'm just why I'm like, looking at my phone. I wasn't talking to hot guys or anything. I'm yeah, right. it was on TikTok. You were on TikTok. It's We've fine. talked. I about want to learn how to dance. For rusty stripping videos. It's you yeah. want to see some rusty stripping videos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, the first one's free. You got to pay nineteen ninety five for the other three. It's a very specific oh, number. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I should have said nineteen ninety seven. That would have made more sense. Mm. Where is this, Kyle? I'm failing you on finding my SEMA folder in my phone. It's like different. Uh, Joe. Uh, truly, you can send us an email um, at like warehouse at Jeep World. Send there us you whatever you got links to your your uh, products, any like line card information that you have, and we can definitely have a discussion. But it needs barcodes and SKUs and stuff, right? You guys Not always. Know? Not no? always. Okay, cool. A lot of small vendors are um, like manufacturers that are one off it's it's a one or two man operation so they don't do all of that stuff we just will will construct the data sheets we'll get you up on our our site and then we'll work out how that works for us because we are a small team so we are i don't know if you guys can see it so kyle made those for us okay he, he came down when we were at sema and put them on and everything so it's pretty nice. cool so he does a lot yeah, of custom really. ones. I'm sure he'll explain, but I'm sure he's got standard catalog. There's, there's type a whole of, show so. you can watch. As soon as you're off this, you can. Oh, yeah. You guys, guys can, can stay up later and watch show. us talk again. <laughs> <laughs> to Kyle. Right? Just can't get enough. Yeah. Um, if he sends us an email, we do a lot of. Um, uh, we, do, we do a lot with custom stuff. We have one vendor that's almost exclusively customs. So oh, wow. Cool. We are able to kind of outfit that. Oh, that's cool. good news. All right, yeah. I keep president, but Joe Joe says that uh, he shops as local as much as possible. Uh, but uh, he cut a forty patty on Amazon, had it on his porch within fifteen hours. So this is what he says: every local company is like three to seven days. Yeah, it's hard not to shop at uh, Amazon, right? So, yeah. hmm. uh, what do you say? Uh, I broke all kinds of stuff last weekend wheeling, but my GP hat still looks amazing. Yeah, right on. <laughs> That's because it's camo. <laughs> it's, yeah. yeah. I love I mean, it. Is it even there? Right, exactly. It's just, <laughs> it's just a floating logo on the top of your head. Exactly. I know, right? I let, no one ever gets that joke when I said the other day I was in the at the grocery store and some some lady, man, I forget what, was was walking in front of us, being super slow, and I just said something about like how there was a floating head or something. Like, I don't know. Anyway, totally did not, not funny. did not get it. I'm like, you know, camel pants. Never mind. Okay. So <laughs> apparently that's not. A hat, that's a classic like, yeah, had to yeah. be there, Paul. Right? Yeah. <laughs> had to be there. Yeah. So what um tell us maybe what's what's next for jeepworld.com? Like where where do you see the business headed? Uh just stay in the course. Or is there any major like can you give us any inside scoop? Like what's yeah. what's coming up? Anything fun? Uh, Events or anything? So our big one was the Adirondack Jeep one, which unfortunately was canceled um, this year. And, you know, I mean, we feel that would have been lovely to attend and be a part of. Um, right. We don't have a large enough team to pull it off ourselves, um, but we are going to really go for, you know, October, and see if we can't do a even larger trunk or treat. Okay. Um, in terms of plans for the business, we are expanding our line card. We are trying to work with our vendors to expand the, the options that we have. Um, and we did purchase a great big lot of uh, liquidated apparel. And a lot of the designs are like super vintage. So we've been pulling those out of boxes and it's like the weirdest Christmas. But <laughs> that is cool. I was just thinking that sounds pretty awesome. I could do it. Yeah, we got, we got massive, like 26 by 26 boxes that just showed up off a UPS truck one day, and we were all out in the lobby, like, oh god, what are in these? <laughs> <laughs> I actually like did a couple of wars. TikToks where yeah. I was unpacking them, or I gave oh. like a quick sneak peek at like mm -hmm. all the boxes that were hanging out and like peek inside and through some of the uh new shirts that were in there on the yeah. table. Okay. So. so you guys have like a special spot in the site that promotes that? Um, we, because we cannot get these designs again, we are dumping them into our clearance section at clearance prices because okay. it felt very unfair 
to put them in at retail price when we some of them we don't have a full size run some of them we have like three mediums and a small or we have like two larges and an extra large and it felt really unfair to put them in at like a full retail and then b with any kind of indication that we'd be able to get more of them okay they are they're coming in at clearance and once they're gone they're gone which is unfortunate because some of them are pretty cool yeah Uh, doing jeep stuff for five years and i've not seen most of these designs ever oh wow so if it's uh, good for the collector and the real enthusiast, maybe to jump on the clearance section and grab some I'm there discounted right now. cool shirts. Oh, Paul's oh. buying some. <laughs> I'm shopping right now. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah we got, we've got some stuff. more. Yeah. Yeah. We have more going up soon, probably tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The process has been a bit slow going because we don't have any like manufacturer imaging for them. Oh, a lot right. of our stuff comes in with like that predefined, you know, imaging. So we've been doing that ourselves in house. So a little slower than our normal we've got this in stock and but it's been fun that's awesome i was I gonna mean, say how, there's how, yeah there's all the pictures i was taking earlier today i was gonna say what what's the process like how do you get because i'll tell you the one thing i hate more than anything is product photography it is incredibly hard like you can hire people to do it and they come back and they look like shit like it, yeah so tell me the secret we what's have- the product photography we have a light tent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's a big, but a big light. one? Oh, see. Yeah. yeah. It's big enough. It's um it's big enough that at one point we were putting in like we could put a rim in it. You could put rims okay. um like not a bumper, unfortunately, because I don't have that much space. But <laughs> um yeah, so it's it's substantially sized. Like you could crawl in it and have lunch, I guess. I, that's I mean, <laughs> why not? I like it doubles as a as a <laughs> picnic <laughs> tent. Um <laughs> But yeah, so it's like, it's, it's a cube, but it's just white and like kind of filters through it. It's been horrible weather all week. So we just kind of, we pop it up right next to these big plate glass windows that we have out in front. Um, and that just diffuses enough light that you don't get any of the harsh shadows. And we have a very creepy styrofoam head that we put all our hats on. <laughs> ah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> and just take all the background out. Okay, so you don't do like the fishing line. Have you seen that with the hats? It's I hilarious. Have. Yes. Oh, no. That's so I... funny. <laughs> that's worse. That's worse than the creepy like styrofoam hats. No question. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> well, they'll, the, in order I'm to take the picture, like, right? They'll yeah, like yeah. tie it on like fishing line and, just hang, and it, hang it there, and then so you, that yeah. it kind of yeah. floats there. But, but then the hat just... looks super weird. Yeah. Like, no styrofoam head. Hundred percent. My only like. I forgot that I ordered that. So when I opened up that box, and it was like uh, there, and I was like, "What have I done?" It's like the movie, <laughs> movie seven, when he has his uh-huh. wife's head in the right. box. Right. So now you ruined it for everyone. For grief and like horror before I remembered that like you did do this on purpose. This is and true. Here's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, you're looking for like a hate. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I opened it up and I was like, "What is happening here?" We try and ship everything at least in two days. Right. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 you may get you should just do that with like every 10th order you might get like a random styrofoam head that's oh, horrifying can you imagine right? being that oh customer like you're opening that up expecting like a sweatshirt and it's just a just a head no, you could just color, put color the eyes there. and then put i'm yeah, watching you on their forehead on that's right i imagine <laughs> you stay in business for a long every time hat order gets a head. <laughs> it's all for the sake of comedy right <laughs> that's right i mean <laughs> anything anything for comedy uh, rusty says uh I wish someone would make apocalyptic rubber ducks. I agree. Dude, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you? I'm sure we probably it's won't call it China. Time. You can find it. Just go on Alibaba Express. So someone will make that shit. Oh, right? man. I We're doing a uh, like a line of like no ducks given. Like, get. Um, yes. Yeah. Ooh, I yeah. like that. Right? I like that. I know. Why ducks. did we start the duck thing? Don't know. Okay. Yeah. And the worst part was is like some some girl, like she's from Kentucky Mike. or something, but she's Mike knows her, right? Yeah. Or something? Does it Mike know some girl that started, or some guy that had like a whole like national duck website crap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it, so she started it because I don't, I don't understand thought, the relation. I, I, and this, I could be wrong. Um, and I, again, I only know because she would show up at like the Jeep meets around here and with her duck on the top of her Jeep and whatever. She's from Huntsville or something, or she's actually from like in the U.S. somewhere um kentucky i think but she i guess she li- lived here or something and she wanted to why didn't she use a canadian geese then well i guess she because they probably whatever you can get at the <laughs> yeah, dollar store right? yeah. that's so true oh my god 
Canadian geese are frightening. But I think it was something to do with like just trying to be nice to people because she didn't know them. Like she was trying to make new Weird. friends or something. And so she threw duck. I don't know. Or she put a big duck on the top of her Jeep to like make people laugh or something. I don't know. Anyway, all I know is that the, the amount of money that people spend on those fucking ducks, you want to talk about bad for the hey. environment, forget the gas that goes into a Jeep, okay? I it's, got all the, kinds. it's the rubber in those rubber ducks. Dude. Killing well, the uh, environment. Isn't there like a whole, there's a city somewhere that just dumps rubber ducks into like the river that runs through the city and it's like a duck. Right. <laughs> what? Okay, so that sounds amazing. No. Okay, I take it all back. If that's no, it's amazing. real. I absolutely am not making this up. There's a real thing. I will find it. My yeah. roommate's girlfriend loves to place ducks hidden around our apartment. No. And like, like Jeep one ducks? day, duck. like she's just like a, rubber ducks. Duck. So, it, I mean, it could be a Jeep duck. Yeah. Um, <clears> and it's all about location. Exactly. <laughs> like one day I found one in the freezer and I'm mm. like, what the hell? <laughs> and then um, now we have this whole game going where like, once you find all the ducks, you hide them, and then oh my God. like the other person has to find them and then hide them. You get a brown <laughs> duck and put it in the toilet. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Well, Joe, Joe says that they actually raised the ducks, which is in the town, I guess. He they raised yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, they dump them all in at one part in the river, and then oh, okay. sounds like that game at like when you go to like the yeah, fair or whatever, right? The first one. Yeah, and um, so it's in Germany, I guess. Um, there, you go. there you go. So, oh my God, Kyle, Chicago Duck Derby. Kyle says, what? "Okay, ooh." There's also yeah, a London know. one. Is this does this have anything to do with the Jeep part? I'm just curious. Like, are they? No, no. no, no this is just random ducks. Okay. This, this is just other ducks. things that people do with rubber ducks. With that might random be rubber. What the right. hell is with rubber ducks? That man? are still PG, anyways. Uh, okay, so Joe's Joe's is actually <laughs> it's, it's it's five. It's, <laughs> it's uh, it costs like five bucks, and the winner gets half the pot. It's a is that, is it bucks? Oh. Is this supposed to be bucks or ducks? It they cost five, five ducks. ducks. You have five, to five duck. real uh -huh. ducks. And then that's you get right. rubber duck. For one yeah. rubber duck. Go. No, that's yeah. what you win. You it's get a five to one ratio. Ducks. And then you win half of the ducks. Half the duck. Oh. Just the front half, half of the, the back half. half the yes. live ducks or the yes. rubber mm -hmm. ducks? Oh. Just so now you, now I, feel like, I feel like this might be taking place in This China. is really official. This is, we've just, we've derailed. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> but that said, okay, the ducks, man, these ducks. Crazy, man, the amount of stuff. Oh, man. The, and the amount of money that, like, somebody has, and I, I'll give them props <coughs> because uh, credit, whatever. They have, they've created a bucket of ducks, and you can buy oh. it on their website, and it comes, like, with, like, a cool graphic on the side. And they're the ducks. You guys you should get sell that on the website. And all that shit. I feel like I'm just saying this. I'm over here like, you know what? We still have. I know. I know. I'm like, I, as much as I hate you the ducks, the ammo there's a couple thing. bucks in there. Yeah. Or you could do you could do stuff where like if you spend a hundred dollars, you get a duck. And then someone's at like eighty six bucks or eighty two bucks. I know a like, company that does that. Cool if they spend eighty eighty two dollars and they want to send me a duck, I will send you a duck. Yeah, yeah, no, like a live one, because oh. you have to trade five live ones for a rubber duck. Maybe right. you could be <laughs> save the duck. You, you? you could trade a rubber duck for a, like an endangered live duck, and then you could bring them to your home, and you could have a whole. Wait, castle why does of it have ducks. to be endangered? What ducks are endangered? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure <laughs> those people at those, those Italian restaurants are eating a lot of ducks, aren't they? Italian. Saratoga is filled with ducks, so. So many ducks. So, so many ducks. Maybe you could do like a duck relocation program. I will relocate them to our customers' houses. To Germany? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good luck catching them. Oh, Listen, man. Not. <laughs> don't touch them. See, this is why we can't talk we're about the ducks. We're going on a field trip next week. We're going to go to the park, and we're going to get all the ducks. Let's do it. You guys should do a social video with the ducks where you're like oh my God, trying okay, to that's a great social run video, around. Right? There's ducks flying everywhere, duck and then someone throws in a pile of like rubber duckies rubber ducks instead. On the ducks? Oh, yeah. There you right. go. Yeah. I like, think you should put Hot glue so they stay, right? Real live ducks on people's Jeeps. <laughs> that's what you should do. That's that's the TikTok right there. Let's do that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just shove a real live duck <laughs> under the handle, right? It'll oh, stick. Just so wing them into the cars. Just, just heave them into the Jeeps as they're driving by. Just hey, or like them. maybe a duck meal. It's right? almost uh, at lunchtime. You go out and put duck meal to go duck meals on people's Jeeps. 
and you open Wait. up a styrofoam and it's just rubber ducks in a pile. No, it's real duck, like duck oh. that you get at a fancy restaurant. That's oh. expensive, man. Yeah, it is. Probably a bad idea. Yeah, rubber. <laughs> How about <laughs> a turdunk or, or, hen? I yeah. can't. <laughs> That's the duck new thing. Turkey hen in one, <laughs> usually oh. around Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, what is that? What is that epic epic meal videos, guys? You ever seen that? Okay, I sidebar. Like way side. So have you? So that's the turducken kind of thing. Go look at like I think it's Epic Meal Time. On oh, YouTube. I've heard of that. Those dudes are funny, I've man. I've heard of that. Yes. Yeah. They do shit like that. <laughs> like it's it's a little. You'll be like, oh, I'm dumber after this, but it, you will watch three or five of them in a row. Oh, for sure. Epic Meal Time. Rusty shit. derailed the whole podcast. Yeah, Rusty. Sucks. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah. He's right. good though. He always comes up. Yeah, he's. This is just uh, a typical day in the office. We're always like. See, I told you guys are worried. Off. It's so it's fun. We just chat. And stuff. We just literally, yeah. We just entertain we're just, ourselves. We're we're so far removed from like humans during the day that we're concerned <laughs> it's starting to affect our brains. Oh. <laughs> I can relate right. to that. I think. Oh, all right. I thought we were doing a good job. I felt pretty comfortable the whole time. Mm, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Rusty wants Rusty. You should, you should oh, see God. my strip. He says, "There you go." Is what? He's. I don't. Is, know, that, is it on TikTok? Well, I'm Ryan I was gonna now. say, is, is what's his TikTok? We'll, we'll see if it's, <laughs> if it's there. Do you do you see um, in terms of the social channels? Where are you seeing the most like traffic from? Definitely Facebook, yeah. um, and then Twitter. Um, oh, really? Twitter and Twitter. Also, really? yeah, Holy yeah. Shit. It's crazy. That's still around. <laughs> no, I, I love Twitter. I just she's love on, it for she's like on Twitter because of crypto. Crypto is the biggest. That's the biggest space yeah. for. Oh yeah, Twitter, yeah, Twitter yeah, is, is great. Like I, I love it. News, I'm there all the time. But uh, interesting from the Jeep perspective. I know there's a big following, but Pinterest is also one of yeah. our biggest. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pinterest. Is good. Yeah. yeah, Pinterest oh. is great. Yeah, they like you know they'll find something for their Jeep right on our Pinterest page, and then they'll mm-hmm. click it, and then eventually hop over to our website just to purchase it do you yeah. do you do the advertising there or just all organic all of yep. it yeah oh you do it all yeah yeah because pinterest i know they've been on us for a while like we have a pretty good organic oh. i didn't even yeah. know you could advertise on pinterest i guess okay, i've so never really used it i never heard I, I have a closet like obsession with pinterest like i love i use pinterest for everything so that's everything. no longer a closet obsession that's out in the open now yeah right well yeah. it's because it it's used to be international like now. you know it's like <laughs> it was always like my wife and like you know people who would go on craft yeah. and stuff right oh rusty yeah. says he's big on myspace and friendster so there you go oh yeah <laughs> don't forget MySpace. friendster Oof. That was the best one. <laughs> um yeah no pinterest was is really great for driving like driving mm-hmm. traffic it's amazing for, this organizing. thing now where you can like organize your pins into like a board and then like a sub board um oh. which is like a it's super niche but like so i i'm renovating my house which is why i know this so i have like my house board and then like all of the things organized by room so oh. now when you have that you can kind of see where people are pinning things more often <clears throat> If that kind of makes sense, and then yeah, you, sure. you can target more effectively, whether it's like accessories or if it's um, like hard hard parts, up, upfits, things like that. Like you can see a little bit better what they're doing. That's amazing. I didn't know you could do that. I know I'm on there all the time. I have to check it out. Yeah. But yeah. I'm like, I'm curious. So, what do you find like the demographic coming from Pinterest? Is it typically female? Like, is your is your typical customer female, or is it a mix? It's, or do you? Let's go find mostly, out. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly male. Yeah. Uh, but I was gonna say, I women think are not that, that far behind. Okay, and it's usually enough. like twenty. I think it's like the age range is like typically like mid twenties to yeah. mid forties. So. <laughs> um it's pretty pretty darn good yeah so i guess amazing. pinterest has transitioned from like a crafty like lady mom kind of thing to like more like universally accepted and more That's different like different varieties of things eh? yeah yeah, huh. yeah so our audience on pinterest is very much male interested in finance and cars and uh sports and fashion that's amazing because <laughs> I've, I've been reluctant because huh. it, I live in a world where I, I guess I can't get my head around the fact that there's just so many guys using Pinterest. But like I said, it's my closet. I think they're, all, they're all 
closeting that obsession. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? So now you feel better about being like, normal. Because me and my friends, you know, Ryan, we're never sitting there going, hey, man, I'm you talking about Pinterest. Pinterest last night? Just <laughs> doesn't come up. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. We, I, we've, we've never talked about it. Even we've from never like talked a, about Pinterest. A business no. standpoint, even like, hey, you should use uh -huh. Pinterest because X. I, just, I don't use it. Like, like you know, you our can't. goal yeah maybe i probably i mean i have to figure it out but like our goal is to like work with you guys right yeah. like be a manufacturer i'm just gonna have stuff on our website and you can buy it if you want but i really want them to buy from you guys and i want to build all those relationships that's way more important to us and then to figure out how to like back support you guys yeah you know that's kind of our model and that's where we want to go like i'll always have the ability to buy online but it'll be like whatever msrp right. or whatever right i'm not good or sorry like whatever the regular price like yeah I'm in, yeah i'm gonna give you guys room and you, all that right? you consider pinterest as like a like a vision board kind of a thing which was like i okay. guess how it started where people were pinning like the the goals and whatnot so you have all of these people that are you know they're buying jeeps or they're they're like building their dream jeep they're pinning all of that stuff and and saving those links for you down the road so if they're not mm -hmm. pinning it and buying it like right. they move on like a Facebook advertisement, click through and then buy it. They're holding on to it and seeing it over and over and over again on Pinterest. So it's a, it's right. a good point for sure. Yeah. Huh. The original awesome. idea for like Jeep Beef when we started building it was like Pinterest for Jeeps. Like that was, that was it. And then you could do a build exactly like that. Plan it out. Like yeah. in between house and are you familiar with house? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So house and Pinterest, right? I mean, those two yeah. are amazing, right? Um, one day I'll get up there. Uh, what do you say? Instagram. Rusty says he has a million dollar idea, so I'm, I'm not going to share it. But Instagram handle light up license plate frames. Yes, do that. Yes, please. <laughs> we'll buy That's those. That's awesome. Yeah. What I do you mean, like, for like my own custom, car. like custom <laughs> ones? Is that what you're talking about? Even if you do like like little teeny tiny letter stickers that the customer has to like put their <laughs> own Instagram handle on it, and you just do the LED component, do that. Awesome. Kyle, if he's still on, he could do it. He's yeah, already there. He's already your... making. Uh, he could be like license oh, plate geez, matter. Oh, that's the million dollar idea right there. You put up a light up Instagram thing on the handle of your Jeep. Mm. Mm -hmm. Boom, dude! Oh. I remember I was in Connecticut doing a Jeep show a couple years ago, and this guy was out of his Jeep selling these little like ugly boxes that were like like the Jeep one. You could turn it on and have two different like signs. And it looked like he made oh. it in his garage. It was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I can see the idea and it's, you know, a great concept, but more work has to get put into it, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know where the guy's gone yet. I think people have copied it since then. But <laughs> he got Ellie Bobbitt for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, I don't know. Did we, what did we miss? Let me just yeah. check my yeah, Do you guys want to chat about quickly? Or I mean, we're not in a rush, but I know we've, we've kept you for longer than you probably thought. We have almost had an hour. Yeah, because like I said, I, and I could probably honestly bore everyone and talk to you guys. And I don't mean bore because, <laughs> but bore because I, I talk like, you know, social media stuff all day long and e-commerce. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I, I love this stuff. So, uh, but with that said, you had mentioned that um, one of the goals was to build up your social media. Yeah. Um, is there, is it, is it, are you going to focus on a particular platform or are you going to try and spread it across the three or four that you really find are, are you know, working I for you now? Focus mainly, like posts are mainly on Facebook and Instagram. The occasional Twitter ones, I try to post more Twitter lately. Um, but then uh, TikTok, we only just had it maybe for about a month now. And yeah. um, we're still trying to get more ideas and record more things for it. Um, but currently, uh, we have a lot of packing videos on there, like packing orders where I'll print out some orders from the Shopify website and like cross off all the personal information, of course, mm -hmm. then just say, Hey, to our followers and start packing. And you guys should do like a flash dance packing video or something. <laughs> <laughs> Where you like pull it down and all the orders fall down on top of you. Oh Does yeah. anyone have a, okay. I was going to say, I don't know if anyone even gets that reference. I don't know. You know, <laughs> you know. The, the concern there is definitely like this is a hard hat situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. 
Unless we just do all of our t-shirts just falling yeah, out. All there the you go. All the new ones. There you go. Just, mm, yeah. You're a maniac. <laughs> but, right, so, um, so yeah, that's okay. I was going to say real quick, Rusty just, uh, he posted up. He's on Instagram. So we got Rover Heart. Or what, what, what is that? I don't know how that is. And this Rover is Hater. Rover Hater. Thank you very much. Mm. See, this and is it, why. Yeah. This old Jeep. And this old Jeep. Thanks. My computer's too far away. Okay. Sorry. You were saying. <laughs> um, we're trying to definitely like get a more like organic following on TikTok. Um, so like at the end of like on our packing slips, we always say thank you for your business and tell them how much we appreciate them for their order and everything else like that. So at the end, when I'm like writing those notes down on the orders that I'm packing, I'll say, check out your uh, order getting packed on TikTok and then leave our TikTok handle on there so nice. that they know where to uh, check it out. And then they could even like um, send it over to some of their friends if they want to show them or other Jeep people in their community so that they can uh, share the wealth and then know that, hey, they do these packing orders. Maybe I'll see mine on there one day. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I think that's cool for sure. TikTok's Maybe you a, could do like a weird little, like a weird little, like hidden little thing, like a little free thing, like something really small. Be like, oh, go to TikTok to find your, to see your secret little thing or something, you know, something weird like it's that. It's actually on my list to do. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I just gave you that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I stole it this time. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mark. <laughs> there you go. I'll do that for Paul. Now we're even for Paul. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, well, cool. cool. For sure. Yeah. So once again, where, okay, let's go through the socials so people can find yeah. you. So Instagram, Facebook, where, where can everyone find Jeep world? So for Facebook, we're at, um, Facebook com or sorry about wow. Jeep world com. Facebook. We are, we are the whole Facebook. We are the whole Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you find us on Facebook, <laughs> www.facebook.com. Exactly. We're there. Exactly. We're everywhere. <laughs> Um, so yeah, our handle on Facebook is either you can look us up in the search bar by typing in Jeep World, and we'll be one of the first pages that pop up. It's our it's our logo. Yeah, there's a couple yeah. of things that are like Jeep this. World with not us, but yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Then um, Instagram, we are uh, at Jeep World. That's it. It's no spaces, no underscores, just at Jeep World. And again, you'll find our logo yeah. as our uh, profile picture. Then yeah. Twitter it is J. I think it's I think it's just Jeep World. Yeah, yeah. Je just Jeep also World with the logo. Wait, just yeah. Jeep World or Jeep? No, at Jeep World. Jeep. Okay, got it. At Jeep yeah, World. sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm just giving you a hard time. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then for TikTok, it is Jeep World with period com. So yeah, it's like it. you're typing in our website on TikTok. Okay, cool. And then, of course, on the web. Yeah. Yeah. World yeah. Com. yeah. Amazing. Well, I, uh, I, yeah, listen, I had you're a, G, you're a Jeep World com on Twitter. Surprise! Oh, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> I love that he puts a phone up like for proof. Though. No, I, yeah, sorry. I We're know. not messing. I'm, I'm, this is, this is I think the Twitter handle though is Jeep World. At Jeep World, yeah, maybe you're right here. Oh, yeah. see, totally giving up bad. Yeah. Ah. Well, I'm still showing it. We're so both people right. See it. We're yeah, both there you right. go. Yeah, it's a good team effort. Yeah, exactly. just trying to just trying to make sure. Right. Well, we'll put out the information out. and everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, hey, thanks. I, you know, again, I know we had a lot of fun. Um, I, I think you guys, you got to come back and tell us, tell us how uh, at least the trick event or trunk in the goes. fall comes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe before you do the event, maybe we'll get you to come back on and we can talk about it and maybe get some yeah. uh, people in the in the area in the in the northeast. Yeah, definitely. Drop by and uh, get some candy. There you go. I love it. Joe wants to know when Tim's going to be on next. Tim's are going to be our next guest. Tim, we're going to have Tim on. Yeah, no, maybe. I'm no. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Tim's uh, too busy working. I'll send him an invite. That's right. <laughs> he declined. I sent him one. I had it oh, recurring. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but only it was a joke. But I had yeah. it recurring. Tim's right? still yeah. our friend. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. just 
his He's wife gets busy, too man. mad. He doesn't want to do it at night and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I actually don't know if that's the reason. But yeah. <laughs> oh, he it said it is. I can blame yeah. his wife. Tim's wife, go. I blame you for everything. Okay, there you go. It's official. <laughs> there you go. And I'm <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm smarter yeah. to stay out of that. Like completely. I'm, I'm, but people know I'm kidding most I of know the time. I'm Tim's most wife does time. not know that you're kidding. No, she hates me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're officially done. Yeah, you're it's over. Off. I'll she never get you that. like low you know, her. No <laughs> dinners, no nothing. nothing. You're out. It's over. Tim's wife is listening right now and she's like, Oh my god. Yeah, she was actually our number one downloader now. She's gonna fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now she definitely is. Yeah, it's over. Exactly. Yeah, just as he's a busy man. Yeah, he is. He's got a lot. Well, he's got the he's got the shop. He, they uh, expanded, and then they've got the race series, and he's working on his on his uh, race buggy stuff. And yeah, he's he's really busy. So. so he, I'll come by uh, and maybe be a uh, a guest every now and then. Say hey, what's up? Tell us about some new products. Yeah. So with Perfect. that said, again. Uh, <laughs> Sam and Kate, thank you both. Yeah, for thanks being so here. much, guys. Uh, it was awesome. Thanks for having us. It was fun. Yeah. And uh, yeah, next time we'll do it again and uh, I'll ask uh, even more nerdy questions and we'll talk Perfect. more about Pinterest and crafting. We'll braid <laughs> yeah. each other's hair. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> like, we got to have a real duck. Okay. We have to have a real, a real, duck. <laughs> a real got, duck. You guys said you got lots of ducks. We'll it's present. on you. I don't have any ducks. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's yeah. just going to be ducks next time. That's it. That's it. There'll just be ducks on the screen. I got just a little bit. Great, great idea. I just got the ones on the count. I'm at like the front of the counter, so we got the ducks for the one store we just give them out. I don't there have any go. out here. I got rubber ducks for here for everywhere. Uh, just cool. as the Tim got all his money this year. There you go. There well, you good. Go. I'm glad somebody uh, we know did. So there you go. We'll go buy something at the Jeep World site. There you Please. go. Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> like. A vintage shirt, which I'm yeah, yeah, totally. So there I was yeah, go get a shirt. There you go. All right. Well, uh, again, thank you both for being here. Thank you all for tuning in and watching and sticking around to the end. Um, I, I know we all really appreciate it. If yeah, you haven't done fun. so, consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the bell to be notified. And until next week, we are out. Thank you. Yeah. See ya. Yeah.